All right, welcome back, guys. So I did a little bit of fairly uneventful walking down the road. Over here we can see Prim. There's the NCR flag waving. And right behind us, oh, what is that? What's going on over there? I was going to say, uh, the, the quest icon for the guy offering bounty hunter work is right around the corner. So I decided to keep walking past Prim and see what he had to say. Then we found this uh, fiery conflagration. What's going on here? To be honest, I have no idea what that is. This is a raided area with an exploded motorcycle and a coyote. I mean, that may be a, a wild wasteland thing that I've never experienced before. You know, maybe it was Wiley Coyote riding off the uh, I'm off the hill or something. Oh. Oof. This guy's pretty tough. The experience for one mob this early on. Ooh. Pretty dangerous territory. Let's head on back over here to uh, this uh, hut. Random ghouls. Give us the level. Watch out! What? This is a pretty nice, uh, rusty hut you got here, pal. I like your painting. Watch out! What are you fucking talking about? I think maybe because this is a mod, this cell might not be uh, totally compartmentalized. So the mobs outside are causing him to flip out. Let's see. More science good. More talk good. Rock picking good.
I like both of these. Uh, I like this one because it gives you double the points from reading a magazine. So, 20 points really helps when you either need to, you know, get through that door or really pass a speech check early on. And this one, of course, just gives you more skill points, which I'm a huge fan of having your skills be as high as they can. Uh, last thing I need is more scrap metal. Let's go with this one for now. Oh, hi, there we go. Hey there. Hello, welcome to Randall and Associates. Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Stephen Randall, owner and operator. I assume you're here for the position, correct? Yes, Steve. Pay me to kill people. This is a nice mod. Good modeling, voice acting, I like this. Hell yes, it's open. I can begin the interview if you're ready. I only have one question. Are you willing to kill people for money? Yes or no? I mean, sure. That's good, but I need to be up front with you. You'll be pursuing high-risk bounties. Many of the targets are extremely dangerous. But with the high stakes comes increased rewards. There's cash for every bounty, and increased payment as you complete more contracts. There's quick money in bounties, but you can rapidly make a name for yourself, and a lot of people will be looking for payback. So, what's your decision? Are you still ready to pursue the bounties? Yes, please. The first target is Tom Quigley, a former NCR Ranger who's rumored to be the best marksman in the Mojave. Apparently he contracted syphilis and steadily lost his fucking mind. Despite his abilities with the rifle, he was drummed out of the Rangers. He eventually turned to banditry and murder, taking great pleasure in sniping Brahmin caravans from afar. Quigley's crazy, but he's still damn lethal. He's usually camped out in the hills west of the old Poseidon gas station. Any questions? Is he named after Quigley Down Under? That's for me to know and you to find out. Aw, uh, you're gonna make questions? a reference. Good. Bring back Quigley's trigger finger as proof and you'll get the bounty. Just don't get killed out there. Well, Alright, buddy. Thanks. Let's see what he gave us. That's pretty nice. It's the same DT. Gives us a bonus. So we'll wear that. I broke my hat. That is a crying shame. Got any other free stuff? I don't want to take his gun. There's a bottle cap. Hey there. Hi. Look at your stuff. Oh no, it's the low resolution boy and bandit. Alright. Let's head to Prim. Let's see what they have to say. Man. I don't know why you set up shop in Ghoul Central. Sweet flavor. What is this? This pass over here is the one that you head down 
you want to go visit your friend Ulysses in the Divide. We're not going to worry about that for a while. Someone set up a roof for nothing. I don't know. Wastelander nonsense, I guess. Cans worth five, worth pots, only worth one, and apparently buckets worth nothing. I'm Sergeant McGee of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. If you want to talk about something, speak to Lieutenant Hayes. It's Lieutenant Hayes, I have such a nice soul patch. I'm from Hub originally, but it's been a long time since I saw it. I'm on my second tour here. Most non-commissioned officers are. Sir. A bot? What? What are you pointing at? Let's see what the LT has to tell us. Oh. Did I interrupt something? I'm Lieutenant Hayes of the New California Republic Army, 5th Battalion, 1st Company. What's your business? Killing and delivering packages. We were sent out here to hold back the tide of convicts from the correctional facility. As you can probably tell, we aren't doing the kind of job we could be doing. That sounds like a Debbie Downer kind of attitude. Most people just call it NCRCF. That's NCR Correctional Facility. A little bit ago, the convicts there staged a coup. Killed the guards that weren't able to escape. And I've been ransacking the area since then. They're running amok? Not much. They've taken to calling themselves powder gangers. Mostly because they've taken to using the explosives meant to clear boulders as weapons. They got organized faster than I would have thought. Most of them, at least. Thankfully, the small group in town here seemed to have split off from the main force, so they aren't getting anything in the way of support. The mission isn't a problem. The problem is with supplies. Convicts are better armed and organized than our intel initially suggested. I'm trying to get some reinforcements here, maybe some guns with some firepower, but shit. Things are just going slow. That's well, because in all the years since Great War, none of you have figured out how to make cars again. I have some free time. Ask away. Sir? Okay, bye. Can I have any of your stuff? Morning. Yeah. Stingy. Man, it's a real uphill fight these days. I'm not sure how we're gonna handle all these convicts. Well, I don't have a very good uh, track record with the powder gangers, but maybe I can help. Steel stuff. Hmm. Yeah. So, I'll try to disarm him or risk getting myself crippled. And I'll just go ahead and shoot him. I'll be honest with you, I'm doing it for the cheap experience. Yeah. 
There's that roller coaster they told us about. We gotta go on that. Hey! That is downright rude. Shot poor Daniel. Let's see what they say. Just like my note, except apparently he was delivering fuzzy dice. I wonder if there's a mod where you can find all of the goofy novelty items the couriers are supposed to be carrying. Alright, well let's go into the uh, Mojave Express. See if we can't find out anything about our delivery. There he is again. The low resolution bandit. It's a giant flying U Haul. Sixty five and fifty five. Let's just see how far we are from ever being able to do that. Well, if we got a magazine, now that we have that perk, do the 55. Science. Alright, let's see if we can't do it, because I like having a giant flying U-Haul carrying all my stuff. Hey, Eddie. Yep, I'm gonna put you to work right away. Okay, hold on to my shovel and this uh, crazy gun for now. I forgot about that. Some of this weird stuff, and I don't know what it is. These pencils that I, for some strange reason, think I'll eventually want. Apparently the people who live here are out on the town. Well, I think that'll be good for now. We uh, got a job as a bounty hunter. 
made ourselves a robotic friend and carry all our crap. Shot a couple guys, killed a couple ghouls, did some leveling up. So that's not bad for a start. Let's uh, see what happens next time. If we can't find Jonathan Nash and have him tell us uh, a little bit more about the package we were carrying and why someone shot us in the head for it. See you guys in the next one.